section seven five synthetic division. Um, there's a mnemonic for this too called C mama. That's kind of fun. So what you don't need to do on every single problem is the long is divide these the long way. And by the way, where we're headed is dividing is going to help you to factor these these higher polynomials like fourth degree and fifth degree. So that's where we're headed ultimately. That's where we're headed. So if you were to do this the long way, you would don't don't write this down. Long division would be you would set this up like this, and you would and you would start from there. Okay, that's long division. But we don't always have to do long division. Um, when you have when you're dividing by something that's a linear term like this, p plus four. It's called linear because the highest exponent is a one. There's like an invisible one here. You can do this shortcut. So what you do is you put the, um, if P plus four was one of your factors, what would make this equal to zero? What would make P plus four, what value of P? Negative four, right? So you put that term, um, what's called in the box. This is just shorthand notation. You put it in a box like that. So whatever the opposite sign is of this, you put it in the, in the box. It's the value that would, it's like the, what would make this zero? It's like the zero. And then you put the coefficients in order. You just list the coefficients. So see how there's an invisible one in front? So one. What's the coefficient of this term? Negative two. And the coefficient of this? Negative 32. And then this, the constant, you just write it right here. Okay, so now... The C mama comes from, this is going to help us divide. First, you copy this first number down at the bottom. The result is, is going to be we're going to know what the um, result of dividing is. So you copy this first term down. Then you multiply times the term that's in the box, which gives you negative 4. We're going to do this a few times. And then you add, and that gives you negative 6. I just added these straight down. And then you multiply times the term in the box, which gives you 24. And then you add, which gives you negative 6. Uh, sorry, negative 8. Yep. And then you multiply, which gives you 32. And then you add, which gives you 6. And that I also put in a box. And that is your remainder. So the the result, yeah, I'll, I'll go through the whole process again. Let me just write the answer. The answer would be you would take these numbers in front and do one degree lower than P cubed. So it would be P squared, one P squared, because there's a one here, minus six P, and it's just in standard form, minus eight, and the remainder is plus six over uh, P plus four. So the, so this is, this turns out to be a lot easier than, this turns out to be a lot easier than long division. So you should use it when you can. And I'll, I'll repeat the whole thing now that it's all written out and then I'm gonna do it a couple more times. So you take, what goes here is the, whatever would make this zero. Is there a question? Just ask. No, oh, okay. So whatever would make that, that term zero, you write it there. And then you take, see that there's a one in front, a negative two, negative 32, and negative 26. And it's, you write just the coefficients there. And then you copy this first term, copy and then multiply and then add and then multiply and then add. Um, you're multiplying this times the number in the box. So you copy this, the first one you just copy straight down. And then you multiply it times negative 4, and that gives you negative 4, and then you add. And then you multiply this times <coughs> negative 4, and you get positive 24. You add, you get negative 8. Then you multiply by negative 4, you get 32, and you add, and you get 6. And that's the remainder, so you do plus 6 over P plus 4. So let's, oh, okay, copy, multiply, add, multiply, add, and you just keep going. 
What is multiplied? This number at the bottom times the number in the box. So let's do another one. So um, are all the terms here or, or is there something missing? M cubed, M squared. There's a term missing here, right? Yeah. So first we're going to write it M cubed minus 8M squared plus 0M is going to be the placeholder plus 3. So that is divided by this. So first you... What would make this zero? What would make this factor zero? Eight. It, it would be eight. So you put eight in the box. And then we just list the coefficients, or like the numbers in front. So we start with a, what's in front of m cubed? One. And then what's in front of m squared? Negative eight. And what's in front of m? Zero. And then the constant is three. Yeah. So then... You put a line here. So there, are there questions so far? Okay. Now we're going to do the, the C mama. Copy, multiply, add, multiply, add. So you, you start, I would put an arrow there so you know where it came from, copying that first number down. Once the number is down here, you're ready to multiply by the number in the box. So 1 times 8 is 8. Okay. And then you add these together and you get 0. Then you multiply 0 times 8, and that gives you 0. And then you add 0 plus 0 gives you 0. Then you multiply times 8, which gives you 0. And then you add, and you get 3. And that number goes in its own box because that's your remainder. So now, the final answer is you take these. These are just coefficients. So I'm going to actually write it in here. Instead of m cubed, it lowers the degree down to m squared. So this would be m squared. So let's maybe put an arrow. This is one degree. This is one degree less. One degree less. And then this is going to be plus um, zero m to the one. And then this would be plus zero. And that doesn't do anything. So your final answer is m squared plus 3 over m minus 8. Question, yeah? Uh, how did you get 8 there? What did you multiply to get 8? What did I multiply to get 8? Do you think this is an 8 right here? No, the other one. This 8. Okay, so you multi I multiplied 1 times 8, and that gives me 8. Whatever number is... No, it's the one that's below, below the line, and that's what you multiply by what's in the box. We're gonna do we're gonna do another one, so you're gonna see this whole process one more time. Yeah. Why is the degree one less? The degree is one less because um, the result of multiplying m squared times m is gonna be m cubed. And when you divide two things, you should be able to multiply them back together to get what you started with. So it's, it has to be one degree less. That's a good question. Okay, so let's, let's try it one more time. So we have a plus two is what we're dividing by, right? So what goes in the box? What goes in the box is negative two. Negative two goes in the box. <laughs> and then the coefficients are one, eight, 19, eight, and negative 19. So we list those one, eight, 19, eight, and negative 19. And then we put the line here. So we're ready to now see mama. So we copy. It, it always, it's just coincidence that that first number is always a 1. But whatever number it is, you just copy it down there. And then we multiply times the number in the box. And then we add these together. 8 plus negative 2 is 6. And then multiply by the number in the box is negative 12. And then add is 7. Multiply by the number in the box. And then add 8 and negative 14 is negative 6. Multiply by the number in the box, and then add. And that last number, if there, if it's zero, then you don't have a remainder. But if it's anything else, that's your remainder. And then your answer, what degree should it start with? Q. 
cubed, yeah. So it was fourth degree here. So you get 1a cubed plus 6a squared plus 7a minus 6. And then you're left with minus 7 over a plus 2 is your final answer.